Hey guys, Jackie here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our 25 week pregnancy update. So we're at 25 weeks, which is incredible and um, lots happened this week. It was really a roller coaster ride. So I'm just gonna quickly like tell you what happened so that way when I'm going through everything, like you'll understand what I'm referencing. So um, I was supposed to go to Disney for a few days this past week with my best friend and the day before, well a few days before, we were gonna leave, my dog started acting a little off. He was just like extra sleepy. And um, this is my dog, um, Noah, so the white one. He is a little Maltese. And he was just a little like groggy and stuff. We didn't think anything of it. And so we took him to the vet on Monday, which we were supposed to leave Tuesday. Um, and the vet told us he had suffered from a stroke and that he he had a few days left we should put him down because he will suffer another stroke that will like end him basically i was devastated i canceled my trip i literally was heartbroken like i literally could not stop crying and my dad works with a farm on the island so he called the vet from there to get a second opinion and so you know she said get these pills give them to him we'll wait a few days and or like a we'll wait a little and then we'll like do tests because this vet that we took him to, his vet from the time that he was a puppy, looked at him and said, yeah, he, that's it, put him down. She only listened to his heartbeat. She didn't do blood work or scans. She did nothing. So um, this vet was like, yeah, we'll do, um, we'll do all the tests and stuff. So we did that, we got, we got him some steroids and you know, the next two days or day and a half, he was really like, getting better he wasn't like good how he was but he wasn't bad like he was so like the vet literally told us to put him down and he was getting better so like it was just a little annoying but then we took him for the second opinion they did blood work they did everything and thank goodness all he had is low blood sugar so it was the biggest relief of my life craziest roller coaster ride um, I was just like stopping the whole time. I was like, he has to meet his brother. Like, oh my God, it was just like the most heartbreaking thing ever. But thank God, like, thank you God that he is okay and he is doing well. I'll put like a little video here so you can see him. He's doing great. Like, and it actually kind of like gets me really anxious to think about like, what if we put him down because that was what she said to do. Like, what if we didn't have a second opinion? So like, I went, I wrote a review on the place. I was like, do not bring your pets here. Like, if she's gonna tell you to put them down when they don't need to be put down. So yeah, it was a very, very stressful week. But with that, let's get on with the update. So we're at week 25, which I believe at this point this app says that the baby is the size of a cauliflower, but let's see if there's any um, better analysis. This one says a bunch of grapes. So like, you know, I don't know how big is a bunch of, like, I'd say like this big, cauliflower is like this big. Um, yeah, which is crazy. And I think it's about two pounds, one and a half pound. He's a pound and a half. Oh my God, he's, well, because he's a pound and a half, I've actually been having severe back pain. Um, especially like leaning down. I have two small five pound dogs. So when I lean down to pick them up and pick them up, like I've been getting really bad back aches and I think it's because there's extra weight and that's like being put on me when I, on my back when I'm picking things up. So that's been really awesome. <laughs> okay, weight gain, um, haven't checked, don't want to check. Um, just like not something I'm interested in tracking. <laughs> Um, maternity clothes, I've not bought any new ones. I'm trying to get along with the ones that I have until he arrives because I just don't see a point in buying all these like maternity clothes that I'm not really gonna wear again, except for like when I'm pregnant, which is only gonna be like one more time, hopefully. Um, maybe two, but like I'm really hoping for one. <laughs> stretch marks, um, no stretch marks on the stomach still. Thank God, because I really like don't think I would do well if like mentally if I started getting stretch marks on my stomach my boobs still like I said I've just been doing the oil and the cream and hopefully those will diminish once 
the babies here. Um, there's something else on stretch marks that I wanted to say and now I can't remember. All right, well, that's about it for stretch marks then. How are you sleeping? I'm really not, I'm not sleeping good at all. John doesn't help. It's just like really not conducive environment to sleep in. This kid is doing cartwheels this morning. Guys, this morning he was like going insane. It's like six in the morning and I swear he's like, like imagine this being his feet like, and he's kicking around my stomach like a break dancer. Like I literally was like, what are you doing? It was the weirdest feeling. I've never felt that type of movement before. It was crazy. Um, best moment this week. Definitely finding out that my dog's okay. <laughs> like <sighs> biggest relief as a pet owner, as a dog mom, like it was just the worst experience of my life but the best moment was finding out that you know he's okay <laughs> missing anything um fourth of july was this past week so it's kind of like not a great fourth but what are you gonna do next year will be better next year the baby will be here so he'll be able to like see the fireworks and all that but it kind of sucks this year so movement as i just said like crazy movement like <laughs> He is insane. He is going to be some kind of athlete or like something like that moves a lot because he is crazy. He moves all the time. It's insane. I was actually like mid conversation with my cousin and I was like, wait. And I just like put her hand on my stomach. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> Food cravings. I've been really trying to eat healthier because I do have that glucose test this, not this week. I have it in two weeks i think so the glucose test i like am terrified of failing i guess failing it because then you get like gestational diabetes which means you have to like prick yourself and you know watch what you eat and i just like i don't want to do that so i really hope i don't have that labor signs i'm not sure if these were braxton hip contractions but i definitely had some like cramping going on um, and some like weird like pains in my stomach, but I don't know if they were like contractions or if they were just like discomfort or maybe even like gas. I don't know. Um, but I have definitely been experiencing some, some really fun <laughs> pains, but they always pass, which is why I don't, you know, fret. <laughs> belly button in or out, guys. My belly button is slowly being pushed out and I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't, but I guess that's just comes with the territory. And apparently after the baby's here, it goes back, so. Happy or moody? I've been really moody this week, guys. Um, like so moody to the point that like the other day I woke up and I was just like, the thing that set me off, I buy water bottles and I put them in the fridge. And I told like my sister, if you take the water bottles, put new ones in. You know, like if you take a cold water bottle, put a warm one in its place. And she didn't do that. And I woke up in the morning and there was no cold water bottles and I flipped out. But yeah, I there was no cold water and I flipped out and then I just started yelling about everything. I went off on my best friend, I went off on my mom, my sister, John, like everyone had to hear it. And I apologize, I was very um, moody, but I'm trying not to be so bad. I'm trying to, you know, keep my cool. It's just like, I'm snapping much easier than I normally do. Um, I freaked out on my dad the other day because he said something and I was like, seriously, like, you can't say that. I was like, stop telling me how to feel. <laughs> so like, I just like have been snapping a lot. So um, if you're pregnant, let me know if you've been snapping a lot. That way I don't feel so alone. <laughs> what am I looking forward to? Um, I have a sonogram on Monday. So right now it's Thursday. So Monday I have my next sonogram, which I'm super excited because I think they do the 3D scan. Not positive, but I really hope they do it. <laughs> I'm also gonna like put a little bump update over here for you guys. That way you can see how big I'm getting, which it's pretty big, which is scary. So symptoms, like we said, trouble sleeping. Not only have I like, I've been having insomnia, like I cannot fall asleep. And then once I fall asleep, I can't stay asleep. 
it's a combination of different things. Like I said, John's not a good big sure. Um, the baby moves a lot. I am an insomniac to begin with. I have so many thoughts racing through my head at night that it's hard for me to fall asleep. And then when I wake up, I start thinking about them and then it's cycle. <laughs> but sleep, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Frequent urination, yes, all the time. I have to pee always. And it's like, I am the type of person like, I can hold it like a champ. But the second I'm like, I have to pee, I have to pee right now. Like, that's it. <laughs> I can wait maybe a few minutes, but like, I need to pee. <laughs> Guys, I've really, really been having a lot of heartburn and acid reflux. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden this is happening. Um, I don't know if this is like a symptom that just appears at the end of the second trimester or if I've just not experienced it yet, but it is terrible. After I eat, like my whole chest is like burning and like I cannot lay down for like literally like hours after I eat because Otherwise, like, it, like, comes back up even when I'm not laying down, but it's worse if I'm laying down. Like, the other day, I woke up in the middle of the night, acid reflux, and I almost threw up everywhere. It was awful. So, love that. A lot of gas and bloating. I actually, like, feel like right now it's, like, really not, not ideal. Itching. I wouldn't say I have, like, itching, itching, but, like, my stomach definitely gets, like, a little itchy here and there. But I think that's like what leads to the stretch marks. The other thing, oh, that was what I was gonna say about stretch marks. Is that I think they're like more genetic than anything else. So like if you are slated to get them, I feel like you're going to get them no matter how much preventative measures you use. So like I got them on my boobs. Like I think that was just meant to happen. I have some on my hips just from like growth. And so I think like I'm just more prone to it, I guess, or like, those areas of my body are more prone. Um, so I think that definitely has a lot to do with stretch marks. Um, and I think the itching is a sign that you are developing a stretch mark. I could be wrong, but that's just my theory. Dizziness, um, dizziness, yes and no. Um, like I said, there was that one time that I had like that really bad dizzy spell and I was throwing up. And that was a few weeks ago, but it hasn't been that severe. I haven't really felt that since then, so thank God. Um, the other thing that's very, very exciting is that I've been doing work on the nursery. So I've been trying to empty out all the furniture that we have in there, which is very difficult because we have such a small space until we get our house. So I don't know what to do with all the rest of the furniture. I don't want to put it into storage because I don't want it to get like dusty and gross because it is all white furniture um so i have like a thing that you like hang like a clothing rack i have a vanity and then i have my big mirror the mirror i like definitely need to keep in the room because i need that to like get ready um the other stuff i don't know where it's going i emptied out the clothing rack so at least it's empty i just don't know where to put it um then as far as nursery furniture we have the crib and we have the dresser and then the other few things like my mom wants to get the mattress we need to go get a rocker from i don't know where you really get a rocker i don't want to get one online because i want to make sure it rocks the way I want it to. So I'm thinking like Target or maybe Bye Bye Baby. Um, and then I need this one like um, system from Ikea. And then that should be good for the furniture for now. And then I need the paint, which we have the colors picked out. We just need to go to Ikea and buy the actual paint and paint the area. And then once that's painted, we can start putting together the furniture which is super exciting. And the other thing that goes hand in hand with that is my shower. So I put everything on the registry because I was like, I don't really know how to make a registry. So I've just been putting everything that I'm like, oh, I should order this, just put it on the registry. And then, you know, once the registry is done and like the shower's over, then I can go ahead and buy whatever is left over. 
but I'm hoping that, you know, like I put the rug on there, the curtains. Um, there's actually this adorable little chair and it's like a Mickey Mouse chair and you can put the baby's name on it. And it's from, I don't know where it's from, I can't remember, but it was like on a website that's not my registry site. So I was like, John, can you buy it for him now? <laughs> so I think we're gonna get that for him because I'm obsessed and I can't not have it. Super, super exciting. The shower is on the 13th of August and it is, it's July 7th. It's also my grandma's birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Um, but July 7th, so we have a little over a month, like five weeks, six weeks to get everything set for that. The invitation should be here tomorrow. Um, I know my mom and my sister are taking the reins on planning it, but <laughs> I'm just not a surprise person. I don't like being surprised, unless it's a complete surprise. But like if I know it's coming, I'd rather just be in charge of it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be super fun. I'm very excited about that. Um, the other thing is that my cousin who is also pregnant, she just gave birth a few days ago and the baby is here. He's so cute. I haven't met him yet, but his name is Brayden. And oh my God, he's so cute. He's just such a little squish and I'm just so excited for him and my baby to be best friends like me and my cousins are. So I'm just like so, so excited about that. I do also have a few other friends. Um, one of John's really good friends, him and his wife are expecting their baby any day now. And my one of my really good friends, she's my sister's best friend from high school. Um, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> <laughs> but she's due in like November and December so like I'm just so excited that he's gonna have friends and that you know we're gonna have a little like group of babies because that's like always been my dream is for my baby to grow up with like a bunch of friends just like I did with my cousins and because none of my cousins are like having kids yet I'm really glad that other people are <laughs> um yeah so like hmm I think that's really it for the pregnancy update um yeah if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye guys